Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're watching some more Vampire Diaries. We're actually watching the last episode of season six. It's called I'm Thinking of You All the While. It ended like super intense <laughs> last episode. Um, Kai is back and uh, he stabbed Joe. And like I said, I don't know what will happen to the babies. I hope they're okay. But it's hard for me to be like, oh yeah, like they're probably okay. It's just like, I want them to be okay. But anyways, Elena got uh, thrown on the floor and she's human now. So I don't know. Also, I think Nina's gone after this season. So I hope they don't kill her. I don't want her to die, but also how could you have her not be on the show anymore if she's not dead? So I'm kind of expecting her to have fallen and be dead somehow. But yeah, okay, let's get into it. Season six, episode 22. Here we go. What are you doing? Waiting for you. On the ground where we first met? I'm feeling symbolic. How bad is this? Dance with me. Please. I'll lay down. Oh my god. <laughs> Personal, but this is a family matter now. When our family decides that you're nothing but an irredeemable piece of trash, well, I guess the best thing to do is prove them right. Sure. What? <laughs> oh my god. The fuck? What was the point? What's happening to me? Guy's dead. I love you, Liv. You need to know that. This has to be it for us. You're not dying, Tyler. She's she gonna have him kill her? It's a full man. I'm not triggering it. Yeah. He always told me that he gave you a second chance. Let me do this. What? <laughs> I feel like that's an awful way to go. You have to tell it. Oh! I'm strong. I triggered my curse. No. Tell every vampire to steer clear of me. I don't know if I'll be able to control who I go after. And my fight will kill them. Oh, really? You either come with me right now, or you're out of my life. Do you understand me? Your son. She don't give a crap. I'm sorry. What did you give Kai? I really gave him my blood. Yep, so he can't die. Well, he died, but he's coming back as a fucking heretic or whatever the fuck. Right? Uh oh. There's something different, Dad. twins he had a wife he was wifing her up oh yep he's not gonna do it though oh you 
son of a bitch. Can you kill a neuretic the same way you can kill a vampire? Oh. Looks like somebody's having a very bad day. Yes! Ow, ow! Yes! What's that gonna do? Hopefully... Kill him? Or... Make him weak? <laughs> you didn't see that coming. <laughs> you didn't happen to pet a fuzzy four-legged vampire killing machine, did you? Just tell me what you did to Lena. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, he did something to her. So, monster, I linked the land of life to yours. And the rule is, as long as you're alive. Oh my god. Please tell me you didn't. Oh, I totally did. I guess what I'm trying to say is your betrayal really hurt me, but So this is kind of all your fault. The light is the only thing that they themselves would care about. He'll kill you. You have to get out of here now. He's he's not gonna kill Bonnie. I guess what I'm trying to say is that you knew me better than anyone. I always have, which is why you already know how impossible it is for me to, to find the words to say goodbye. I can't do this, not, not now, not ever. Mm -hmm. I don't think Elena necessarily came into my life to be my soulmate, and she was. We loved each other, but she was also the only person I've ever met who actually believed that my brother was worth loving. And she reminded me that I used to believe that about him too. Mm -hmm. Her faith in him, it brought Damon and me back together. I needed him more than I needed her. Yes. I think so too. Give me some ointment. That is gross. <laughs> friends think you're funny yes because maybe if you were funny uh, if you were the one with the good jokes who they could always count on to make them laugh maybe they'd be cool with letting you live instead of elena you're right sadistic humor is your thing <laughs> taking him down. Me, Damon. How do we do that? I can see it all over your face how bad it is. They want away. What are you gonna do? Damon. Damon. No. He's not gonna kill Bonnie. He loves her too much. And it wouldn't be fair. Bye. No blood in your hands and you and Elena get to live the life you always dreamed of. No. The fuck, dude? No! Damon? Damon! Oh my god. The whole point was that this would torture him for a while. I mean, you think he'd at least flip a coin in heads, he picks you, tails, he picks... <laughs> God, okay, so he needed him to think that like he was gone and everything. Oh my god. I was gonna lose my shit. We're gonna keep her in the basement or something? Where do we what do we do? Now it's my 
I, I tried to be here sooner. I wanted to be here for the wedding. Oh, I'm glad you weren't. Jeremy. I forgot about him. I'm so sorry, Jeremy. I want you to know that I spent my life doing exactly what I felt I was born to do. I was happy. Thank you for bumping into me that day in the hallway. I never thought I would ever be happy again. And then, and then I met you. You changed everything for me. You quite literally saved my life. I love you so much. I'll see you later. He's got him. That building wasn't there last night. Hmm. I must have had this cloak. Oh. Uh. He died. Uh oh. -uh. It's our family. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Time is passing. Oh shit. What's that? The apocalypse or something? Damon? beginning I was expecting uh, Elena to die like it wasn't uh, it was an option um, but I think that works really well I think that's smart what they did she's kind of like she's in a slumber she's gonna wake up in like I said 80 years earlier because in my mind witches lived a little bit longer but I guess not, so like, yeah, 60 to 70 years, like they said. Um, and it makes sense, like, and she mentioned it, she was like, you sacrificed so much for me, now it's my turn to let you have everything you want, and I'll get to have everything I want, just we can't have it at the same time, and that's the most heartbreaking thing about it, because they're best friends, but and yet they can't live their lives together, and Bonnie's not gonna be there when she well she can't be there when she wakes up so you know but what if we turn Bonnie into a vampire right what if we turn Bonnie into a vampire she dies well I know she doesn't want to be a vampire and she shouldn't change like she shouldn't turn herself just to wake up Elena but I don't know I guess we'll see but yeah like I said I think it's a good way to like justify um, Nina leaving the show and I think she's gonna like I'm gonna miss her like I Elena was never my favorite character but I did enjoy her and I liked the idea that she was coming back as a human like she was going back to being human because to me, she was always really impressive. She like always able to defend herself and uh, she was so courageous. Being around vampires and having all, all the time, like having her life in danger, I thought she was so impressive and I, I just loved to see her go and like do her thing, <laughs> being vulnerable and not caring about it. I read that she only wanted to do six season 
and maybe that was the plan in the beginning and they all were like yeah we're gonna do only six seasons but maybe with the success they were like we need to keep going and she was like nah nah but the thing is it's kind of unfortunate and correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think she was in anything else like that popular i think she did movies but i couldn't name anything like i know she was in degrassi before vampire diaries but after that it's weird like i think maybe she did that move to like you know go on to different projects but i think that was like her biggest role Mina Dobrev is a really, really great actress and she showcased it multiple times on this show, like being Catherine, being just like, she had a good range, like she's beautiful and she has the, she has like great charisma. So she, she has like the total package. So I think it's really weird that she didn't like have a breakout movie role that would be more significant in her resume because that's all I know her from. So what happened? Did she like take a break after that? Was she sick of acting? She just wanted to like chill? Because uh, yeah, she was really good. Oh, Lorik, man. Like I get what Elena told him that like, oh, you have to drown in the pain and then start swimming, but fuck. We, we keep killing people he loves he lost his fucking babies he had twins on the way he was so happy with joe we killed joe we killed the babies who the fuck is wrong with you i mean the the writers what the fuck is wrong with you guys why do you hate this man so much um i think for stefan seeing that damon's gonna have to live without elena and he's ready to do that he's ready to he's ready to wait for her I think Stefan was like, I can wait for Caroline too. And I think that was the best thing he could do. Just tell her, look, I want to be with you. I have feelings for you, but I understand if you're not ready, I'll wait for you. So take your time, girl. I'll be right here. But what we saw in the end, I'm guessing that the heretics, I don't know how much time passed, maybe a few months. Um, and I think the heretics like took over the town which is not good, right? Like, that's not good. So that was amazing. Season six was really, really good. I enjoyed it a lot. And I'm so excited for the last two seasons, even though I'm sad because like I'm getting close to the end of like all the seasons. That's scary. That's a scary thought. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this sixth season. I did a lot. So I will see you guys for the next episode. It's not going to be the originals. The next episode will be season seven, episode one. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. This one was season six, episode 22. It was, I'll think of you all the while. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next episode.